Aloha, and welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. Today we have a real unique show because we got two unique characters on the show uh, joining us soon. We have David Fortin, who's a, a land surveyor from somewhere up in the Midwest someplace. And we have Trace Big Guns Chamberlain, who's a safety inspector somewhere out there on the oil field, somewhere between Texas and New Mexico. And uh, living lives, I think, in Louisiana. But both of them are are really critical uh, uh, members of the man cave. So we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, the, our school of manliness, the man cave, and and all that stuff. We'll be right back with the Bear Wozniak adventure. Welcome to the Bear Wozniak adventure. Kickstart that engine. Roll thunder with the pack. Explore the grittiness of manly spirituality. Gain traction in the virtues. Zoop up your spiritual engine by turning adversity into adventure. Now here's Bear Wozniak. Let's ride. Aloha. Welcome back to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. I'm your adventure guide, Bear Wozniak. You know, Jesus uh, sent his disciples out to evangelize. And he sent them out. I think there were 70 of them. I think there were 72 of them. And he sent them out two by two so that while they were on the way, they would have a conversation and uh, evangelize. Uh, but you know how Jesus showed us how to do it? After he uh, rose from the dead, he was lock walking along the road to Emmaus. He was walking along the way, as we would like to say. And uh, he just came alongside a couple of dudes that were walking, had, were leaving Jerusalem, and that were they were in dismay because uh, Jesus had been crucified. Uh, and they learned, though, that um, they, Jesus began to t talk with them, dialogue with them, teach them, uh, and share with them about everything about himself from the Old Testament uh, that 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 was revealed in him. Uh, one of our guests today is uh, David Fortin, and his ministry is called Along the Way. And uh, I think that's what God's calling us to do in this day and age right now, in the times of darkness that are here. Uh, the age of Christendom is, is in eclipse. Uh, more and more uh, Christians have to swim upstream. And uh, it isn't going to come from the pulpit. People aren't going to hear the gospel first from the pulpit. They're going to hear it first from men and women like you and I. Uh, like David and Trace here, who are, while they're on the way, while they're along the way, they have this ongoing conversation. For example, um, so, so many people say, well, I don't want <clears throat> to, it's not my place to share the gospel. I'm not a theologian. I'm not smart enough. Um, and I don't want to, I don't want to impose on other people what my thoughts are. I don't want to, I don't feel I can really talk about Jesus Christ. What if I said that about, what if I were to say, you know, I don't really feel comfortable talking about my personal relationship with uh, Jesus. What if I were to say, you know, I don't really feel comfortable mentioning that I have a wife and that she's beautiful and that I'm in love with her and her name is Cindy. And what if I did that? What if that, that, that that's the same when, when you have a relationship with Jesus, it's a friendship. It's a personal relationship. He should come up your, even in your casual conversation as often as any other one of your relationships do, and maybe even more <clears throat> often. Jesus told his disciples to go out and to share the gospel, and he gave us that great commission to share the gospel, to share the good news. In other words, Jesus told us just to go out there and do the stuff. Just do stuff. Don't have to be really smart. You know, like one time that uh, the Bible, there's that Bible story. I think it's in one of the traditions that's not in the Bible. Jesus appeared to three theologians, and he asked them, who do you say that I am? And the first theologian said, you are the son of the holy other. And Jesus then asked the other theologian, well, who do you say that I am? And he says, you are the eschatological utterance of the ground of our being. And then he looked and he asked the third one, and he said, you are the kerygma. And Jesus' response was, what? So, you know, don't get, get caught up in thinking you have to be some brilliant theologian. Just, just share. You're, you're not, it doesn't say be a theologian. It says be a witness. I remember when my dad first uh, really surrendered his life to the Lord and experienced this beautiful conversion. People said, you need to be a witness. He said, well, am I going to see a car accident? What's going on? No, just be a witness. This is what Jesus, my friend, did for me. And we have two of my good friends, I mean, real friends, the kind of friends that have proven themselves uh, Trace Big Guns Chamberlain, 
Aloha, Trace. Aloha, Bear. I'm glad to be here again talking with you. And uh, we have Dave Fortin, who does so many uh, behind the scene things in, in radio and in podcast and is there with the Salt and Riot Radio in Boise, Idaho. Uh, and and uh, David Fortin with his ministry along the way. Aloha, David. Hey, Bear. Great to be with you. But you're not in Idaho. Where are you? No, I li- I'm in Connecticut. Yeah, but you do a lot of work with Salt and Light in Boise. I know that with I Brian do. Howell our, there and all those. Our, yep, our good friend Brian Howell uh, opened up and has become a mentor to me. And yeah, uh, he he's a guy that that really really uh, exudes that 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 gospel spirit. So hats off to Brian Howell. Yeah. Well, we want to get to know you guys a little bit. We may take a little bit of this segment and the next segment to get to know you, and then we're going to talk about the School of Manliness uh, and the Man Cave. And uh, how people can participate, and what that's all about. So, can you just give us like, uh, uh, like how, how it is that Dave Fortin fell in love with Jesus? How does that happen? I, I always kind of had a uh, a love for God, but it was when my wife int- reintroduced the Blessed Mother to me through mm. the Rosary mm. that I my my life story truly is a to Jesus through Mary. Wow. Yeah, I came, I came back through the rosary. I, I, I started praying the rosary with, with my wife because things were going on in our lives. Uh, this is like back when the, all the when the fallout, the financial fallout had happened. And so we started to pray together and we prayed the rosary. And there was just a point where the rosary just came to life. And I, and I knew the wedding feast at Cana became that that mystery that just turned it all on for me. And I, it was right then and there. I knew I needed to wear a brown scapular. I needed to pray the rosary. And I started to get introduced. And, and that's really when I prayed to, to God to introduce me to your friends. And the mm-hmm. saints came, became, began to come alive for me. Mm-hmm. And, you know, but, but God in his unbelievable graciousness began to introduce me to his friends that are still here alive on earth. And that's, you know, I get to meet Trace and, you know, a lot of great, great people that have really uplifted me and and helped me along the way. It's so beautiful because at the wedding at Cana, it is the essence of who Mary is in all of our lives. Because he said to, excuse me, she said to the, um, the servants that were there at the wedding feast because they'd run out of wine, do whatever he commands you. But what's so interesting is how initially when he she asked for him to help them, he said, Mom, come on, it's not my time yet, you know, come on. But she but her love for her just shined. <clears throat> and it was through her her asking him to help that the first miracle was done and that he really began to be coming out into the more into the open in his ministry. So, uh, so the, the great, the great, beautiful, beautiful thing about Mary is that, you know, if we're, think about it this way, if we're part of the body of Christ, I mean, if we're part of the mystical body of Christ and in some cosmic way, some spiritually cosmic way, God himself, Jesus, the son of God was born through Mary and formed it formed in Mary then aren't we also, since we're part of the body? I mean, I mean, his body was physically formed. His spirit, soul, and body were physically formed there uh, while remaining all God. And so really, w- there's a formation that takes place in our lives, too, uh, through Mary, in our, in, in, our, in our mind, our will, and our emotions, and our spirit, um, through Mary. And then her words to us are simple, do whatever he commands you. So Mary, when not, I came back to the yeah. church, my the first thing I, I did was I asked Mary to raise me as she did Jesus. Wow. So, yeah. So I, uh, my devotion to Mary is it'll always be there. I love her to death. Yeah. I know when I was with father Don Calloway, who I just spoke to last week, briefly, uh, we were in Israel and his mom was there and watching how he treated his mom and how she treated him and how she helped him all the time with carrying books or whatever needed to be done. I really saw that beautiful uh, uh, love of what a mother could be, a mother to a son. And he would say, what, 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 what is this thing people say? I really shouldn't uh, be thanking Mary or praying Mary. I mean, I would hate it if someone said that about, I, I, that, that about my mom. You know, Jesus actually mm-hmm. does have a mom. 
and she's and she's not Christotokos, she's Theotokos. She is the God bearer. She is the mother of God. Trace, I have kept you in abeyance. There has been no overwhelming flood. The dam is not broken. Uh, Trace Chamberlain, we're going to take a break and we're going to get back to you, but I'm going to give you 22 seconds, 22 seconds to say something smart before we take this break. When you come back, I'll get the floor. Oh, yeah. Trace is one of those guys is if he takes the floor, it's his floor. <laughs> There's a guy out here I surf with, Trace, uh, a world champion surfer, a real good friend of mine. And uh, when he goes out in the ocean, there's a couple of guys hassled him one time. And he said, you don't be dropping in on me. And they go, who do you think you are? You think you own the ocean? They were they were from the mainland. And he goes, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. And then he pointed to each guy in the lineup. And I, he said, whose ocean is this? And his name is Lance O'Connor. And they go, it's yours, Lance. It's yours, Lance. It's yours, Lance. So when Trace takes the floor, it's his floor. We'll be right back with Big Guns, Trace Chamberlain, and David along the way, Fortin. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak adventure. Schoolofmanliness.com is a place for men of grit and grace to join together, to inspire, to encourage, and to challenge each other to grow in manly virtue. Members receive morning man meditations, a monthly curriculum that is rich with audio, video, and written content, and a trail guide to help you map out your new trajectory. Many of our members lead their sons through this same curriculum. Your membership gives you access to both the Man Cave, which is our non-Facebook type community, and the School of Manliness at schoolofmanliness.com. Become a member at schoolofmanliness.com. Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for underwriting the Bear Wozniak Adventure on EWTN. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union provides car loans, mortgages, SBA loans, and depository accounts nationwide, as well as 24-hour support. Go to deepadventure.com to find their link or go to notredamefcu.com. Mahalo to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for making the Bear Wozniak adventure possible. You can gain traction in the virtues in my book, Deep Adventure, The Way of Heroic Virtue. And you can be inspired by my personal testimony of heartache and triumph with my book, A Surfing Guide to the Soul, both newly published by Sophia and available at our web store, deepadventure.com and also on Amazon.com. This is a warning. The Bear Wozniak Adventure is dangerous. The radical change Bear challenges you to is not for wimps. Change this station now to a soft rock station before it's too late. You've been warned. Now, here is Bear Wozniak. Aloha, welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. We have two great guests with us today, two men that are true friends. They're in it for all the right reasons. David Fortin, Along the Way Ministries, and Trace Big Guns Chamberlain, who somehow we've, we, you know, he's like that attack dog. You keep, you, you keep, uh, like the bulldog, you keep a uh, iron, uh, you don't use a, 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 a leather, uh, a uh, rope or something to keep you got to have a chain to keep this guy to keep this guy from from uh and this is the this is the longest time i've ever seen trace as we're watching him on our youtube while we're recording this not say anything so trace big guns chamberlain welcome to the to the the bear wasn adventure tell us your story trace you got 22 seconds Okay, let's see. Uh, <laughs> when I was a little child, okay. <laughs> no, tell us. Uh, this is a great story. People need to listen. It's awesome. Well, ultimately, Barry, you know, I've I've told it before. Uh, you know, I I came to I came to know Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior, while I was a a Baptist, Southern Baptist. Uh, you know, I was I understood what it was, or, you know, what it is, uh, and all of that. But you know, along my way, my journey. Around 2019, uh, the wife, my wife Dixie, we uh, she asked me to go to mass. I've been to mass before, uh, but we went to a, a Latin mass, which was totally different. Uh, 
uh, you know, the priest didn't face the odd, you know, face the congregation, anything. I was like, okay, what's happening here? Mm-hmm. And, uh, I was just, you know, like a, I was a participant in the, in the mass. And I tell you what, I, I truly believe the Holy spirit came into my heart at that point. And he said, trace, this is what you need right at the moment of the Eucharist. So, uh, from there on, uh, my journey began, of, you know, becoming Catholic. And, you know, at first I was like, okay, there's something wrong. I'm going to try to prove it wrong. Yeah. There's a lot of people trying to prove it wrong. And as Barry, you say, you know, you step on that slippery slope and man, I was, I was sliding. That was and Augustine then, said that. That's well, just I think, to coin a phrase. Well, you sure about that? You know, I thought well, you, he's always steals my best lines. Augustine always but, steals my best lines. But uh, you know, from the, a lot, yeah. From there, it is uh, it it's it snowballed. You know, there's things in my life that I had to get right. Uh, I'm still on my journey, but uh, hopefully, uh, there'll be a world changing event in September. Uh, I will actually, at that point, become a member of the church. Really, Trace. I believe so, and I'm. I already got it set up to have somebody try to shoot video because they're not going to believe it. So, <laughs> well, we've been waiting for this for years. I, since, yep, since uh, since two thousand nine, well, since two thousand twenty for, for sure. There was some annulment. Yep, some, anno- that some annulment things that we needed to get done, and everything. And you've been and, so patient because I know you've been living as a brother and sister for a long time. And uh, uh, in September, what's happening? What what date? Well, I'm I'm not for sure yet. The uh, Father Andre, I'm going to try to get him to be the one to to bring me into the church because he was the one that actually helped me and my wife start this journey mm. uh, along the way. You know, my wife's always been a cradle Catholic, but uh, she came back to the church. I mean, she's going strong. She's she don't fire. Uh, she's she's my rock. She keeps me grounded, and. Uh, so I figured that he's actually coming back to our diocese and I want him to give us, you know, take us to the next step of this journey to, to our future. Well, I'm and, worried. Uh, I'm worried about how long this confession is going to take. Uh, well, I've, I've already told, uh, I've already told <laughs> the other priest that we need, you know, have another one. It's going to be tag team. It's going to be like uh, you sign up for a tea time on the golf course and you and you just sign up for every consecutive tea time. You lock them all up. No, but Trace, you know, your your love for the Lord is so profound. And uh, you've been longing to receive the Eucharist now for years. And yes, yes, I have. But in so many other things, things were delayed. Uh, but your passion for the Lord and your love for the Eucharist is so powerful. And you haven't received Jesus like like that yet. Not yet, <clears throat> but I, uh, I tell you, you know, with Dave, he was talking about the, uh, the rosary and things like that. You know, the rosary is one of the, uh, one of the things that really, uh, you know, brought me into the Catholic church also, because, you know, like I, you know, I have a saying about the rosary, but, uh, it is, uh, the st- most is- sorrow, most sorrowful mystery is the, the one that really just rips my heart out, you know, because I can't believe that. Someone would give everything they had for me. And and it was God the Father who gave everything, and it was Mary that gave everything, you know? It, yes. Um, very, very powerful. And then um, t- t- I think it's cool. Talk story about how we all met. Talk story about how we all met, how we, oh. we came to know about us and how well, we connect. <clears throat> I was, uh, it was in 2020. I was, uh, COVID happened. We, you know, had a job shut down. And it was, you know, getting close to right at it, right at a year. And I'm sitting there and I'm, you know, I'm trying to get all uh, Catholic up, faith up. I'm listening to the, you know, Mother Angelica. You can't yes. go wrong. You can't go Praise wrong God. listening to Mother Angelica. Yeah, that's, that's the slippery slope right there. That, she that got us all. Me. Yeah. So I, I'm sitting there and it's, it's about midnight and, you know, she's a, uh, on TV and it's kind of finishing up there. And I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm going to go to bed. So I'm going to say some prayers. So like I say, you know, I, I said a prayer that probably bounced off the ceiling and, you know, she came right back to the floor, but you know, God hears all prayers. So 
as I was walking out of the room, you know, I left the TV on, you know, I had to let my American bulldog, you know, sit there and listen to mother Angelica and EWTN. You have a bulldog. I have a, an American bulldog weighs about 120 pounds. We don't want any of those communist bulldogs. No, we, we got we got a real American dog. one, American, American bulldog. bulldog. Yep, strong. Yeah, I, but, I'm, uh, I'm, so, I'm so it's so interesting because I picture that we, I picture you as a bulldog. Okay, so go on. <laughs> so uh, as I walked out, I passed through the uh, the doorway there, and all of a sudden, I hear something that goes, "Get your manliness on, ride thunder with the pack." And I turned around because I know I left it on EWTN. <laughs> and I was like, okay, something just happened. Somebody changed the channel. And I looked around and it was, you know, here we go. Long ride home. Bear Wozniak and all the guys. And that was so, Pat Gervais' voice, right? Our good yes, friend, it, Pat yes it was. Voice. Yeah. So I, I whipped around because, you know, I, I am a uh, founder and president of an international riding club, the uh, Oilfield Army. And, and uh that's so cool. So, man. so cool. I ended up, I ended up, I said, Hey, something caught my, caught my attention. So I'm sitting there and I watched the very first episode of that. And after that, something convicted me said, I need to reach out to Bear Wozniak. And I looked and searched and found your site, sent an email. And I was actually totally surprised that I got an answer back. You know I mean, <laughs> from there on, it's been, you know, fast friends, you know, it's been awesome. We love you and we love your, your family. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it, it's, um, it's interesting that, um, it's not that it's, it's like, I know you needed our ministry. Like, you know, you, this was really good for you. It was really good for us. Really important for us too, uh, for both of you men, for David, uh, Fortin from along the way, and also trace big guns, Chamberlain. It really, uh, are, are you know, it's interesting, very interesting when you're doing a ministry like this, it's evangelizing men, which they say is the hardest thing there is to do. And man, when you have a brother just that comes alongside you and stands next to you, like you remember when uh, Moses was up there on the mountain and they were fighting one of the ites? I don't know if it was the Moabites or the Hittites or the Mosquito Bites, but they were having the big battle down below. <laughs> they, they, David Fortin just winced. I thought he was going to gag and throw up and he had to but then he got a tear in his eye over what a brilliant statement that was. But remember when Moses was raising his hands, then the battle was working for them. But when he would got tired as the day went on, the battle would go against the Israelites. So finally a man stood on either side of him and he rested his elbows on their shoulders and they won a great victory. And that's what I think the three of us are like for each other. When they're, when we need that support from each other, we rest our hands. I know, uh, David just went through a medical situation. You're doing great from that now, Dave. I am. I'm all healed up and back out in the field. Well, you had like 20 men that were praying the rosary for you all during that your your surgery I, and stuff. Yeah, I did. And you know, people say I've I've had people tell me, "Oh, I feel your prayers," and it's it's like I I honestly know what they're talking about now. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I went into that surgery and had a little bit of apprehension. A little bit. Yeah, he was he was in the fetal position, you guys, crying like a little baby. No, I'm just kidding. I was, no, but you were you I did actually, have, naturally you'd have apprehension, yeah. Yeah, but uh, I knew that I had uh, you know a whole team of guys praying for me, and and especially you know I, I say that that I tell everybody this that Trace Chamberlain is my spiritual bodyguard. That yeah. man don't let anything happen to me. Well, let's let, let, let's take a break. We'll talk. We'll come back and talk more about. Uh, the bad side of Trace Chamberlain. All these glowing things, we got to balance it so he doesn't get a big head. No, we'll be right back with more David Fortin from Along the Way Ministries. He does so much for so many communication efforts in radio and podcasts. And Trace Big Guns Chamberlain, the founder of Oilfield Ironman and an iron worker. He's a safety uh, inspector on oil fields all throughout West Texas and New Mexico. We'll be right back with more of the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Announcing Spirit Adventure TV with Bear and Cindy. So many people, especially you mama bears, tell us we want more of Bear and Cindy together. Well, we're happy to announce our website, spiritofadventuretv.com, as well as our YouTube channel, Bear Wozniak Spirit of Adventure, where you can watch Spirit of Adventure TV with Bear and Cindy. 
Join us where we live in the Hawaiian Islands or where we sail our boat, the Spirit of Adventure, in the Caribbean. Experience both adventure and serenity with us as we share our life together, as well as the joy and the wisdom of our faith. Go to spiritofadventuretv.com to find out more and subscribe on YouTube to Bear Wozniak Spirit of Adventure. And join us, Spirit of Adventure, with Bear and Cindy. Here is a YouTube video short, which is based on an excerpt from my newest book, 12 Rules for Manliness, Where Have All the Cowboys Gone? Buy 12 Rules for Manliness, Where Have All the Cowboys Gone? at schoolofmanliness.com or wherever books are sold. Mama Bears, get these books into the hands of your men. Go to schoolofmanliness.com and subscribe to our weekly email to receive video YouTube links of the Bear Wozniak radio show, as well as the Spirit of Adventure with Bear and Cindy TV show, which, by the way, is filmed in the tropics, as well as our manly evangelistic YouTube shorts. Go to schoolofmanliness.com. Be the kind of man that when he gets out of bed in the morning, the devil says, oh no, he's up. Go to deepadventure.com and invite Bear to speak. Aloha, welcome to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Welcome back. So uh, we have David Fortune from Along the Way Ministries and Trace Big Guns Chamberlain, uh, founder of the Oilfield Ironman Motorcycle uh, Organization. And we're here to talk story with you. We want to talk about the school of manliness uh, and, the, and Bear's Man Cave. Um, you know, we, 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 when we first started the school of manliness, we had to call it Bear's School of Manliness because School of Manliness was taken, you know, as a website. Mm -hmm. uh, but we were able to acquire that a, a few months ago. So now if people just go to schoolofmanliness.com, it'll take you to our site. It'll take you to the, the man cave, which is like a non-Facebook community and the school of manliness, which is, uh, a monthly curriculum that we go through. And, uh, and then we have our, our monthly zoom meetups. Um, Dave, maybe you can say a little bit about, um, what the, what the, uh, the school of manliness is like and uh, what the non-Facebook community is like. Cause uh, Dave is uh, working his way more and more into helping us as the, uh, as we're in a, we're uh, beginning to hand more work to him as the Dean of our school of manliness. So Dave, what, what would you have to share with people about that? This is really, in my opinion, something that is really, really needed. Guys need to go to have a place that they can go, that they can share their heartfelt, feelings their ups their downs this is a great place for for men to become a man that they that they want to be you know there's there's so many great guys i mean take you know pat gervais for instance you know pat i've i've had some great conversations with him trace and i we talk all the time you've got to have that guy that man to man that amano to amano however that old saying goes and this is really a great place to do it because we're all rooted in our faith and we're all rooted in, you know, Jesus Christ and we're not there to judge each other. We're there to help each other along the way. And that's why I really, I grabbed onto this when it was made available to me. So. And we're asking David to help us now more. Uh, you and I'll be teaming up on this to get this handoff. Good. But on, uh, uh, the monthly curriculum to be more accessible to people uh, because mm -hmm. we have about eight, about, excuse me, um, about two and a half years of curriculum, monthly curriculum set up in the school of manliness. And one of the coolest things about it is, uh, is that if you're a man uh, and you're over uh, 18, you can become a member of the man cave, the non Facebook community. Uh, and, this, and you automatically become part of the school of manliness. But as a member, you can invite your sons to join just the school, which means they have access just to the school, not to the other members. And you can track his progress through the school of manliness. And you can actually have a weekly time one of, with, with your sons and watch our audio, watch our video, watch our written curriculum, uh, 
go through the self-assessments and change your trajectories. So what I'm most excited about about the School of Manliness, too, is that it's a great way for fathers, you know, to lead sons. So David is uh, working working very hard uh, for me to with us to help us do that. You're um, right now. You're going through t- uh, parsing out um, things with a long ride home. How's that going? I love that. I, I you know what, Bear? You really want to watch a program and learn something from it. Take notes throughout the show. Mm. It's a, it's a. There are so many nuggets, and just that I'm, I'm through the first season right now. There's, there's so many nuggets of, of wisdom in there. You don't have to yeah. be a biker to enjoy this show. I mean, the yeah. scenery is, is stunning. Um, it's just, it's, it's a Tally Award winning TV show, Long Ride Home with Bear Wastick. It's on Prime Video. It's always showing on EWTN different times of the day. I don't know when. But, yep. uh, but it's, yeah. It's, and if you remember the man cave, great... you get access to all of them. You automatically get access to all of them. It's, it's behind the wall of the School of Manliness. But yeah, and so what Dave's doing is he's, he's extracting these nuggets, which we'll be using for 60-second shorts, but in actuality, he's also helping me to develop my, uh, my new book, Morning Man Meditations for Men of Grit and Grace, that are just 366 days of, of uh, morning, morning uh, meditations, and then uh, leaving you do it in the morning, and then you chew on it all day long. Trace Chamberlain, what do, what do you think about the... What is the school of manliness and the man cave and the relationships there? I actually, uh, what I like about it is I've made friendships with, you know, most of the guys there and, you know, have phone numbers and, you know, whenever you're feeling bad or you see, you know, that they might've posted something on social media, you know, you can get on that phone and you can call them up and, you know, you're a brother that they might, you know, that they need to hear from, you know, even if it's just saying, Hey, you know, How's things going? You know, I see there's, you know, some issues you want to, you want to shoulder to, to talk about, you know, talk on to, you know, something to just holler, scream, you know, vent, you know, we're there, you know, like you say, you know, we're, uh, we're the men of the, you know, cave of Adullam, you know, we're, we're all, mm. all gathered up knuckle draggers and, you know, it, it takes a brotherhood that, you know, it takes another man that you can actually go out there and, and lay yourself bare to them. And, uh, they they understand what's going on. It's just kind of like our you know our last meetup that we had uh, there in Florida, the man cave annual meetup. It was you know it was great. I brought my brought my oldest son. He uh, he's on his journey, uh, you know, getting closer to the Lord. And he opened up, and you know, I was I was amazed that he opened up the way that he did. But you know, earlier you said that God sent men out. And he just said, go do stuff. Well, the original men he sent out, you know, there was there's 12 of them, 12 men. You know, one man changed the world. But 12 men really changed the world. And you know how many we had at that meeting? We had 12 men at that meeting. Including you and your son. That was so cool. There. Yeah. And, you know, the other the other guy's sons, you know, yeah. that was there, Ted, Ted's boys, and that was there. So, you know, there was there was 12 of us. So with that twelve people, you know, we can change, we can change the world. You know, I'm I'm kind of a glasses, you know, not just half full. The glass is full whenever you whenever it comes to God. Yeah, yeah, and it's and it's inter- and overflowing. It it's overflowing glass. I like I like what you've said. Um, um, it's 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 a lot of men out there uh, would love to be part of a men's group. And yes. we would encourage you to join School of Manliness, our non-Facebook community and our and our actual school, um, and the books that go along with it. You know, long, my newest book, 12 Rules for Manliness, Where Have All the Cowboys Gone, is part of that curriculum, and my new book on the, medit- on meditate, the morning man meditations. But um, you, you need to be a part of a group of men. But what we've encouraged a lot of the men to do that have come to us is now for them to then turn around and start their own local, just nothing formal, or some of them have started different programs that are more formal, but get together a group of men, two, three, four, at the most a dozen, and 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 maybe have a shot of whiskey and a cigar once a, once a month on the back deck of someone's porch, or get together every Friday morning at 6 a.m. for breakfast at the local, um, what do you have out there, Cracker Barrels or Denny's or whatever you have out there? My house. I would go to the wall, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. So, but but to have these to ha- get together and have coffee and and a sc- small group of men like when David was going through that thing, I started a big group text 
and we were all texting together. We should probably continue that. But um, just, just you, you only need if you don't have a men's a man that you can really commit to and are committed to you. Um, look around you. There's two other men in your lives right now that you know would be willing to do that with you. It takes three men. It's like I remember as a Boy Scout, it took three logs to start a fire the way we were taught to build it. It takes three men to to uh, to forge that unity, and then and then you can bring other men into that. But that, that like right here, we have three men. We have David Fortin, Trace Chamberlain, and Bear Wozniak here. The three of us can do a lot. And so starting with a small group, um, that's where that's the way it starts. Dave, what 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 would you say about um, what, what would you say to someone out there that is, is thinking about becoming part of the school of manliness? I'd say just do it. It's it's not a waste of time. It's 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 really. I, I was blown away when I saw the curriculum, and I saw the all the different people that are involved with the, the curriculum. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's some you know uh, one guy that really stands out is Father Mark Goring. Yeah, yeah, he's he's outstanding. I mean, it's just. And how about how, uh, how about how about Father Bryce Lundgren, the Catholic, the Wyoming Catholic priest? You know, yeah, we, we got such a mixture of characters, you know, in, in yeah. our in our curriculum. Yeah, but it's all manly. It's it's really stuff for men. It's, yeah. It it really handles the answers a lot of the questions about what a man really is. What what's a man's purpose in in life? It, that's why I really. It's very simple. But it's not simplistic. Uh, it's down to earth. It's you know, and we talk. The curriculum uh, talks to men the way men talk to men. You know, mm-hmm. it's not necessarily. I mean, it's spiritual, but it's not pseudo spiritual. We just talk the way men talk, like two brothers coming alongside, and talking story. We're talking with Trace Big Guns Chamberlain, the founder of Oilfield Ironmen, and a big part of our ministry. The thing that these two men have together, David Fortin from along the way big part of our school of manliness is their new uh, podcast. Uh, when we got right, get back, we're going to talk about their new show. This is the Bear Wozniak Adventure. We'll be right back. People love our EWTN TV show, Long Ride Home with Bear Wozniak. Thanks to you, the show has won four different tally awards. And now, instead of waiting each week for the next episode to air, you can actually binge watch our show and even share it with your friends when you go to deepadventure.com and join the Mama Bears or the Man Cave. Along with all the other benefits, you get total access to all the seasons of our aired episodes, plus instant access to episodes that won't even air for several months. Long Ride Home with Bear Wozniak, a great way to communicate the gospel in a gritty enough way that even tough men will stop and watch at deepadventure.com. Deep Adventure Ministries is grateful to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for underwriting the Bear Wozniak Adventure on EWTN. Notre Dame Federal Credit Union provides car loans, mortgages, SBA loans, and depository accounts nationwide, as well as 24-hour support. Go to deepadventure.com to find their link or go to notredamefcu.com. Mahalo to Notre Dame Federal Credit Union for making the Bear Wozniak adventure possible. Here is a YouTube video short, which is based on an excerpt from my newest book, 12 Rules for Manliness, Where Have All the Cowboys Gone? Being a father is about the greatest adventure that any man can ever have. A father is a bucket of grit, fortitude, know-how, and worry, mingled with hopeful determination that he will give his children the best home possible and the best possible start in life to pursue a rich, beautiful, well-lived life. And also, this is a life he knows that will go on forever. As he shoulders the responsibilities to care for his bride and their children with all the hopes and worries that go along with that, he goes from not even knowing how to hold the baby to holding the whole future of a child in his hands. He grows into his fatherhood and into his manhood as he accepts that responsibility and lays down his life in love. My newest book, 12 Rules for Manliness, Where Have All the Cowboys Gone, has hit the top five in Christian books for a good reason. 
It's because men are searching for traction and a trail guide to live out the unique calling and the gifts that they were born with, that each man individually is factory loaded with by God. Paul said, be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, do all things in love. Finally, here is a book that talks with men the way men talk with each other. Just plain old straight shoot. By the way, Mama Bears, this is your chance to get this message to your men. Go to schoolofmanliness.com or anywhere books are sold. 12 Rules for Manliness. Where have all the cowboys gone? Are you still listening? I thought we warned you to change to an easy listening station. Well, you asked for it. Here is more of the Bear Wozniak Adventure. Aloha. Welcome back to the Bear Wozniak Adventure. You're still listening. Most people only listen to podcasts for 16 minutes and 42 seconds. But uh, I hope hope you're still listening. I'm glad you're still listening. Um, I want to let you know my new book, 12 Rules for Manliness, Where Have All the Cowboys Gone, has really, really hit a a visceral uh, uh, chord with with, with men and women. Uh, Men really respond to it because it's like, a lot of men actually maybe raised by single moms that were betrayed by a man and they're man haters. They don't know what a man is. A lot of young women have no idea what a man is either. It's really good for for women of all ages to read this book. It helps them understand what a man is and how, how to properly love a man. Well, how that, what's the most effective way to really love a man? But it's been bumping along. It, it periodically hits the top 10 in, Christ, in Christian books for men. So it's getting a wide audience beyond just our Catholic borders. So really strongly recommend the women out there, get this book for your men. And while you're at it, get a copy for yourself. Uh, and you can order it on, on from Sophia Institute. You can over, order it from EW10. You can order it from our website, School of Manliness, or even on Amazon if, uh, if you order it from us. I'll write back to you and ask you who you want me to autograph it to, and we'll get them out. We can direct send those books out. But really strongly recommend that you uh, that you get into the book, 12 Rules for Manliness, Where Have All the Cowboys Gone? Um, uh, we're talking with David Fortin from Along the Way, who's been a great help to our ministry and is, is, is uh, being established now as the dean of our School of Manliness. And Trace Big Guns Chamberlain, who I think he's just, he should be, he's... <clears throat> He's an evangelist. Mm-hmm. He's an evangelist, right, Dave? Or evangelist. <laughs> Dave, absolutely, absolutely, bro. Yeah, yeah. So I want to, I want to, I want to ask Trace. I want you to say whatever you want to say right now, because I know the Holy Spirit sometimes just grabs your heart, and you've got just say whatever you whatever you want to say. Well, I just I just wanted to uh, talk about your book for a moment, Twelve Rules of Manliness, and uh, where you're talking about, you know, your creed and your your code and your creed. Uh, you know, it took a little bit and, uh, to think about that. And, uh, you know, I, I came up with one and it's basically my, my code and creed is, uh, lead, follow, or get out of the way. And, uh, I, I chose to, you know, I choose to lead and with the grace of God, leave a path others can follow. And, uh, you know, I kind of, I'm kind of like, uh, you know, St. Peter, Jesus came up to St. Peter there at the, at the gates, you know, and he said, uh, Hey Peter, I said uh, I thought I told you a while ago to uh, to shut the gates. He said, "Man, there's more and more people coming in. What's the deal?" <laughs> he said, "Hey, it's not it's not me. It's not me, God. It's your mom. She's she's opened the windows." And and I hope I thought, I hope, I thought she was going to say it's it's Trace Chamberlain's fault. Well, well, I'm I'm, <laughs> hope, I'm hoping to be the people that's grab, grabbing the guys and help throwing them in the window. That's that's the wow. guy that I want to be. You know, yeah. I with with our motorcycle, you know, with the motorcycle riding club. Uh, we, uh, you know, God, God reached out to me and, you know, said, hey, there's more we can do. So we started uh, an evangelistic side of it, a ministry side, and that's the uh, Iron Sharpens Iron. And, you know, it's it's just getting started. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of people, they'll, they'll never step on the grounds of a, of a church or inside a church or anywhere. You have to meet them in the street, just like, you know, Jesus Amen. did. Amen. And so... You know, I I can't remember. I think Dave said it was a uh, uh, 
one of his guests, but you know, you know, he got a, a foot in the church and a foot in the street, or you know, a foot in the church, foot in the mud, you know, because you know, God wasn't, he didn't, he didn't just always, you know, stay there in the, stay there in the uh, church. He was out there on the street meeting the people right there where they were. But I love that. There's, there, you know, there's two things you said that really stood out to me. One is leave a path to follow. You know, I know that everyone's a leader. It's just like, where are you leading people to? Are you leading them into confusion or into the worst possible direction? But, you know, I was uh, over on the, the west side of the island. Uh, excuse me, the east side of the island is the jungle side here in Hawaii. You know, the, the trade winds will bring the, bring the, the trade winds come and then they go up the side of the mountain and it causes rain. A lot of rainbows, too. And there was a trailhead there. I couldn't see the, I couldn't see how to find the trailhead. And I thought someone would need to, well, can you imagine the first person to, to, to do this would have to have had a machete to cut their way through. And I think that's what men like you and you, uh, Dave Fortin and Trace Chamberlain, and what we're, we're trying to do is just, just, just blaze a trail that others can, can come alongside. And the other thing is this image of you throwing people up into the windows. I actually know a person who had to do that. Um, uh, I've been to the, I've been to, um, you know, um, Thailand where the tsunami was. And I had a friend who was there at the time of the tsunami. As the floodwaters rose, he was literally taking people, he's a big, strong athlete, and throwing them up over a deck for another friend to catch and bringing them through the windows there. So it literally is a, a, like you can see it around us right now. It's like the floods are rising. You know, mm -hmm. there, the, things, yeah. things are, things are, um, there's just this sweeping uh, current of this 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 whole uh, woke culture, and I don't know how else you would describe it, but trying to sweep us out of the way. But there's but there there are men like David Fortin and Trace Chamberlain, um, and the members of the School of Manliness, to, to say you know they're throw through catch catch literally 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 throwing people up, throwing them up and people catching them and bringing them to higher ground. David, what are the one or two things that that you would say you've you've learned in the last um, I don't know that you've some some area of growth in your life uh, by being part of the school of manliness in the last um, in the last few years. You know, Bear. As long as I've known you, I I've always seen you as a mentor. That you're you're meant you're you have this this ability to mentor people. You talk about talking story about being an uncle to to other men around you. That's really what a man is supposed to be. He's supposed to bring others up and not keep them down. You know, there's, a, there's enough people being kept down in this world, but it's, it's people that mentor and, and are securing themselves that will mentor them to mentor other men to, to become better, to become the men that, that I guess God called them to be. We're, we're supposed to help each other become that. That's that's really my one takeaway, my my most valued takeaway from being a part of the school of manliness. So you you've got that uh, Bear Wozniak nudge before, like I hey, have. Let's, <laughs> let's do this, <laughs> yeah. And that's why you guys have your new podcast, uh, Growls from the Man Cave. Uh, we got to get that thing rocking, dudes. So yeah, people are gonna want. Uh, my son Shane has never wanted to be on any radio show. The last thing he wants to do, when he heard mm -hmm. your show, he goes, "I love these guys. I want to be on their show." Um, we we should start. Just what I would suggest you do is you do two shows at a time. You know, record them. So once you mm -hmm. get yourselves together, because it's hard to get together, but do two or three in a row. But their their show is called Growls from the Man Cave. It's primarily uh, talking with other men in the cave, uh, but it's just just super inspiring. I want to I want to say one more thing. Um, uh, and that's one of the nudges you guys got from me, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, that's one you know, of them, yeah. <laughs> I want to, if the women are still listening out there, I just want to say something to you. The Bi And for the men, I want to say this. The Bible says, wives love your husbands. Oh, no, I, I'm sorry. It says, no, it doesn't, say, it doesn't say that at all. It says, husbands love your wives as Christ loves the church. In other words, lay your life down for her. That's how you love a woman. You just you 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 you're all in. When a man loves a woman, he's all in. He is all in. And you lay your life down for her. You 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 lift her. You lift her up. You uh you 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 lead her by example. Uh 
but women, I'm going to talk to you now. In that same uh, chapter of the Bible, it says, wives, respect your husbands. Do you know I'm going to tell you a secret about your man? And that's why you might like to read the book, 12 Rules for Manliness. This is a book for, for women to read, too. Do you know that the word respect and the word love for a man are basically the same word? It wouldn't seem like that for a woman, but for a man, when a woman respects him, when a child respects him, uh, they see that as love. When a man is affirmed, they see that as love. That's the way a man, you know, it, the Bible doesn't say he, God so loved the world that they felt all warm and gushy inside. You know what I mean? Men are a little bit different. Um, and, and, and what did Jesus say? How did God the Father show his love for his son? When he first presented him to the world at his baptism, he said, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. He basically, he said, I love him. I, he's my beloved. But when you say to a man, I'm well pleased in you, what you're saying is, I'm proud of you, dude. I'm really proud of you. And women, you need to say that to your men wherever you can affirm them do that. And men, we need to do that for each other. And I'm and I'm so proud of David Fortin. I've seen the battle. There's things we won't talk about, but people that you're lifting up in your life, you know, the, the people that you're helping. And, and Trace Chamberlain, the same thing. People right, right there with you that you're lifting up constantly, your, you know, families and friends that wouldn't be able to be there without your support. I just want to tell you two men, I'm very proud of you, and I'm proud to call you my friends, and we've run out of time. So David Fortin from Along the Way, Trace Chamberlain uh, from Oilfield Ironman, and the, both from the School of Manliness uh, a website, part of our School of Manliness. You can you can get to know these guys there and be part of our school. So go to schoolofmanliness.com, consider uh, connected again, and we'll just have to get these guys back on my show. Until next week, you know how we close the show. Until next week, may the breath of the Holy Spirit aloha you. Alo aloha. aloha. <laughs> <laughs>